Hi folks, I'm Mr. Fullerton, and today I want to take a few minutes and talk about the speed of an object moving in a circular path. So our objective is going to be very short, straightforward. Calculate the speed of an object traveling a circular path or a portion of a circular path. To do this, we're going to use our average speed formula. Average velocity v equals distance traveled divided by the time it takes. In this case, though, because the object is moving in a circular path, the distance is going to be however many number of revolutions times the circumference, the distance around the circle, 2 pi r divided by t. So let's take a look and see how this actually works out in a couple example problems. Question 1. Miranda drives her car clockwise around a circular track of radius 30 meters. She completes 10 laps around the track in a total of 2 minutes. Find her total distance traveled, her average speed, and her centripetal acceleration. Well, let's start with her distance traveled. Distance, well, she completes 10 laps, so it'll be 10 times around the track, 2 pi r, the circumference of the track, or 20 times pi times our radius of 30 meters, for a total of about 1,885 meters. Great. Now let's find her average speed. Average speed is distance over time, or 1,885 meters, over the time it took, 2 minutes, which is 120 seconds, have to convert to our MKS, or SI units. Turns out to be about 1.7 meters per second. And finally, let's find her centripetal acceleration. If you recall from our centripetal acceleration studies, centripetal acceleration is the square of velocity divided by the radius, AC equals V squared over R. I substitute in with units 15.7 meters per second squared divided by our radius of 30 meters and I come up with the centripetal acceleration of about 8.22 meters per second squared. Hopefully pretty straightforward. Let's try one more to make sure you have it. In this problem, the combined mass of a race car and its driver is 600 kilograms. Traveling at constant speed, the car completes one lap around a circular track of radius 160 meters in 36 seconds. Calculate the speed of the car. Yeah, that's kind of a light car, but uh, all right, we'll do the problem. Speed of the car, let's take the average speed, is going to be distance traveled divided by time. Since it goes one time around the track, the distance traveled is just one circumference, or 2 pi times the radius over t, or 2 pi times radius 160 meters over 36 seconds for a grand total of about 27.9 meters per second. Hope that helped. Have a great day.